where I'm at fault, and I have to hold my hands up a little bit, is if I've answered, well, hold my hands up full stop in the fact that I gave an answer without all the information, which is my fault. And um, Steve Bruce, I think maybe contractually is limited in what he can do, which, you know, is fair enough. I don't know the detail of it, so but that's what I'm led to believe. And, and I would never want to belittle somebody's grief or stress. No, no. In, because I've I've experienced that myself, you know, losing my father and, and lots of other things. But um, I just thought that being an ex-Sheffield United manager, um, and without having the knowledge of the things I just said, it, it doesn't look great, unfortunately for him, when the cameras are trying to pick him up, you know, watching the cricket and the Sheffield Wednesday fans are thinking we're in a bit of a relegation scrap and, you know, and maybe he could be here. But if he didn't have the, if he doesn't have the choice to be there, then that's a very different thing. What, one thing I would say, I mean, this is never this this isn't personal about Steve Bruce. I I like Steve Bruce. I think I've met him. He's a good guy. I actually, when I was advised, when I was asked by Fulham when they initially went down, I said, well, if you've got the funds, you know, to let him bring his players in and play the way he wants to play, you want to get back up straight away. I said, he's the man. He's the man. You know, so yeah. let, let let me make that clear. Yeah, this, yeah. This, ain't yeah. A, this ain't a slant against Steve Bruce's capabilities. He's a super manager, and Sheffield Wednesday. I've done well getting him. Sure. I'm just talking about my point, which, you know, without the knowledge, as, as I said, I, I I do still think and stand by that the perception, unfortunately, with football supporters is if he comes in and, and doesn't start too well, because he's managed Sheffield United. That's as, right. You know the, the rivalry yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. And they, they pick, they look back, they don't have maybe the detail, as I didn't, of why he's there and what he's doing there. So, you know, sometimes I, oh, we, we all say things sometimes and look back and think, I oh, wish I'd dealt with that differently, and I do. But, but, but I, I, to a large extent, I'm with you, though, because the Sheffield Wednesday fans left, having gone out of the cup at the weekend. I, I would not have been surprised if that wasn't the topic of conversation. As, I, I, as, know, in, as in, where is he? I mean, Ruth Hula made the point, if, Manche if it was Manchester United, do you think uh, he, he would have done the same? Well, I mean, we have to be mindful of the fact, as you obviously were well, if, if, and are, if there's a that he's had this bereavement situation. Yeah, but but even if you take away that, because that that anybody everybody deals with grief differently, and everyone's entitled to that. But if it's if it's more a contractual thing in terms of what happened when he left Villa, which I don't have the detail of, and he actually can't do it, even if he wanted to, that's very no, different. Uh, yeah, you know, and he's actually taking criticism for something he can't control. Yeah, that that's fair enough, and I accept that. Um, but you know, it's it's just a little. Sometimes, I mean, me and Bob were talking earlier about different examples that we've all had, where mm. you know, you present it with a question, you answer it, maybe you look back, and then you gain more knowledge, and you think, okay, yeah, and that's all I'm doing yeah. now. You know, I'm not adverse to holding my hands up at times. I like I like Steve Bruce. Mm -hmm. I think he's a hell of a manager.